there was a lot of expectation going into that game from Manchester United fans and probably Liverpool fans as well. The game didn't live up to it. Man United nil, Liverpool nil. As far as I'm concerned, probably a point gained rather than two points dropped for Manchester United. In a match where we lost Nemanja Matic to injury before the game and Scott McTominay came in. And in the, in the first half, and Herrera, Juan Mata and Lingard, who came on for Mata, all went off injured. Man United had to use all three of their substitutes before half-time due to injuries. And of course, that killed our momentum. We didn't really have much momentum in the whole of the game. Marcus Rashford, he had to play a good 60, 70 minutes injured. You could see he was playing within himself. But Man United against Liverpool today, because of what Liverpool were doing in the league this year, the United fans, we, you, we all knew that we just couldn't lose this game. So in that sense, it's a good result. And given what happened with all the injuries... It's certainly a good result. But Mo Salah was silent again. Liverpool only had one shot on target against us. A clean sheet. And a massive difference from when we played Liverpool in December at Anfield. Where we got pumped 3-1. Now Liverpool had a lot of possession today. But rarely, really threatened. I feel there was not really too many occasions where I was worried about Liverpool's attack. Because Firmino went off injured. And Salah was having a very quiet game. But... I suppose there will be fans that are disappointed that, at how, how lacklustre that game was. Because it was a game that has so much hype going into it. And rarely, I suppose, has lived up to it in recent years. Somebody who did live up to it today was certainly Luke Shaw. So from a positive aspect, he was fantastic. Really kept Salah quiet. He was named man of the match absolutely rightly too. Great positioning, great defending from him. But looking at this United team, seeing the weaknesses we saw today, our right-hand side was non-existent. Romelu Lukaku and Ashley Young were both really poor. And United was so poor, passing out from the back with the ball. Every time the ball was hit into our box, we would head it straight back to Liverpool. We didn't really have any composure on the ball. And that's probably certainly due to the fact that we had a midfield of Pereira, McTominay and Pogba, rather than Herrera, Matic and Pogba. We didn't have much control in that midfield. And it... It made it easy for Liverpool to take a hold of the game. But because Salah was off form, because Firmino went off injured, their attack was pretty lifeless. Liverpool, this free-flowing attacking team, didn't really threaten Manchester United today, but Man United didn't really threaten Liverpool. It was a proper stalemate game. And ultimately, you, I think United fans will be pretty happy because I'd say that would be a point gain rather than two points dropped. We had that chance in at the end when Lukaku swung across in. And Smalling could have maybe stretched and got on the end of it. But overall, there really wasn't too many opportunities for either team. The best chance for United came in that first half when a great disguise ball from Lukaku sent Lingard through. But Alisson, fantastic save from him. That was a good save. I don't know what to say. For United, come on, look. Everything we're doing under Solskjaer, I said prior to this game, if Man United win... Solskjaer will pretty much guarantee himself the Man Manchester United job as far as I'm concerned. Does that draw change it? No, I don't think so anyway. But it's another game where United are undefeated under Solskjaer in the Premier League. And we continue marching on. And I think there's something that has to be said about the determination from the team to not lose that game given what was going against us with injuries. Prior to the game, Anthony Martial, Jesse Lingard, then Matic, then Lingard again in the game, then Herrera. Players left, right and centre were getting dropped. But we coped and we were very disciplined. And again, this is what I said about the Chelsea match and something I was impressed about United's defence, how disciplined and organised we were. Because that's just something that you don't really associate with this Manchester United team. Certainly not in the last few years. But I'm happy. I'm happy with that result. I think it's, well, it's not a classic game. We won't really be talking about it anytime soon. But for United fans, it just meant everything not to lose to Liverpool today. We took two points away from them. We continued... It's not a game of progression, but it was just more important not to lose today. It really, really was. And United did that. Did that well. It could have been more, but I think the injuries really sort of killed our opportunity same as PSG game and it goes to show the lack of strength and depth that this squad really does have I know there are names on the bench you know you bring Sanchez on you bring Massa and Lukaku on but I don't really feel that they fit this Solskjaer system I wouldn't be surprised if Lukaku got sold in the summer 
we may have players by names, but in terms of the style that Solskjaer has brought to this United team, I don't think we're that good outside of our starting eleven. When everyone's fit and everyone's playing, this United team looks sensational. But when you take a few players out, I don't really think we cope that well. In midfield today, having Pereira and McTominay instead of Herrera and Matic, it took that drive out of our, our midfield. And it meant Fabinho was just in complete control because he didn't have anybody threatening him because Rashford was up front and he was injured. So he wasn't playing like the Rashford that we normally see every week, running around, making it impossible to, for defenders to get comfortable. But as I said, I would consider today one point gained rather than two points dropped. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, Crystal Palace on Wednesday. Take it easy.